So y'all, just got a quick haul to share with you guys. This one, this one will be a quick one. I promise. I swear. <laughs> and I'm not being sarcastic. Uh, anyway, jump right into these. Walmart. I found the WWE uh, Basic Series 81. Dana Brooke. Uh, as well as the Money in the Bank briefcase. Chase variant version of her. Um, you know... I'm rarely going to get something like one to, one to open, one to keep sealed. Uh, but in this case, I would have gotten two of her regardless if I found the, the Money in the Bank variant. Just because it's, you know, I, I like with these, uh, the women's division figures. I always like to get an extra to possibly get autographed by the superstar at some point. Hopefully, anyway. Um, not the biggest fan of Dana Brooke, but I like her. She had a previous figure, um, but I like how this one is is more updated and the, the likeness actually looks a lot better as well. And then off of Amazon, I got this uh, WWE stack down. It's a figure three pack uh, and it features some legends, WWF legends, Andre the Giant and the Ultimate Warrior. Plus it's got a, a mystery figure. I have no idea what's in there, uh, or if it's random. I don't think it's random. I'm pretty sure whatever the mystery figure is, it's, it comes in, in you know, the pack. Um, but I'm hoping that it's also like a, a legend and not, you know, uh, a more modern or current, not current at the time that these were current anyway. But still, um, I forgot how much I got this for. It's one of those packs. Let me see. No, it doesn't show. Um, that's one of the ones I've been, I've been wanting to get before, but it was always like a s stupid expensive price, but I found it for a good price and I, I want to say it was like less than 10 bucks. So no brainer to pull the trigger. And then another pack that I've been wanting for a while. Um, so, you know, if you know me, I, I'm a big Minimates collector and just a, a, a quick side note. I know I, I said I was going to make this real quick, but... <laughs> I, I had good intentions um so i mentioned before that on both instagram and youtube i, I do want to do some some different things and I, I typically always do uh you know like uh on instagram it'd be like my typical is posting like store sightings that's like 90 percent of my posts but you know and, and with youtube it's like these hauls you know, again, probably like 90% of my posts, even though with both Instagram and YouTube, I kind of st started with the intention to do more creative things. Like with YouTube, I always intended, I never intended to do reviews, vlogs, stuff like that. I always, my intention was to eventually do like stop motion animation, stuff like that, you know, creative stuff. Um, and then with Instagram, like toy photography, which I do and I've done since years ago going back to like 98 but let's not get into the history of toy photography anyway um but post more and and do more and post more um one of the things i've been wanting to get back to is doing like comic strips not just like pictures but, but little comic strips and skits and stuff um so i've to kind of motivate myself psych myself up to get back into that i, I recently posted some old ones I did with mini mates. So if you do follow the SME Toys Instagram, you might have seen it. If you don't, go check it out. You don't have to be an Instagram, you know, uh, member or user. You can you can check it out. Uh, anyway, um, I've been wanting to backtrack on some of the Walking Dead mini mates I've been needing, and this is one of the one I've always wanted for a long time. Rosita, little sexy ass Rosita. And Father Gabriel, he's pretty cool. When I say that, though, I'm basing it more on the on the TV show. I I don't read the comics. I know that the mini mates are based exclusively on the comics, but you know I'm only familiar with the characters as they show in the in the TV show. And Rosita. And then last but not least, also off of Amazon, and this was off of Amazon too. Uh, this is one of those ones that I'm going for a while. Just was waiting to find it for a really good price. I think I got it for less than six bucks, prime shipped. So anyway, Mafex, Selena Kyle, version 2.0. I have the version one. It's an okay figure, but it has its issues. Version two, 
not only fixes those issues, but really just comes out with a, a perfect six inch scale version of Selena Kyle as we see her in the in uh Dark Knight Rises and the likeness to Anne Hathaway is really good as well and the, the, I, I just want to say you know I haven't messed with her yet but I, I want to say man I think this is going to be one of my favorite figures I love it and I love I loved Anne Hathaway Selena Kyle and the Dark Knight Rises when I originally saw the movie, I had, I had a lot of issues with it. And she was one of the few things that I actually loved about the movie. So to have this figure now is pricey. You definitely pay for it. But in my opinion, well worth it. Such a good figure. I will I will most likely be reviewing this if, if any of you are interested. Regardless. There she is. I mean, you can't really see her too well. I love the pose. You can't see that too well either, but it's not just a straight standing pose. Really cool the way they, they've got her packaged. and That's what she looks like. So there you have it. There's my haul. I think relatively quick compared <laughs> to my usual. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.